Hey guys, it's Hollow Scammer here and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get yourself Fit Client 3.0. So recently, Fit Client has updated their client into a much better looking GUI and it seems like the old DLL doesn't seem to work on that MC pack anymore. So today I'm going to be showing you the latest version of Fit Client GUI. So, you guys can actually go into the fake client discord to find out their latest updates and I really recommend you doing that because if you don't then I'll need to be like telling you what to do every single time because you'll be leaving inside the comments like, why doesn't it work? Well, just go to the discord and look for their latest updates. You can find a lot of help there, you can ask the great communities in there and yeah. So, let's get right into it. So, first things first, you're gonna need to open up your browser and you're gonna need to search up fake client so once you find fake client then you should see this github so in this place you can actually like find this all this beautiful stuff so let's just say that usually will um, come out here and then you can just click on this and then as you can see right here so first things first you need to download the fake injector this is not new, so for those who still have the old fate injector or have used fake client before, you can use back the same injector. But you guys should download the new DLL and texture pack. So you just need to click right here, the new releases. Download these two right here. And I have already downloaded this these two softwares, so I'm guys gonna show you up right now. So let's just open up Minecraft. Let's smallen that up. Um, let's just open this um, fake client. Um, there we go. Let's just open up our injector. Let's press yes. There. And then right here, as you guys guys can see. So when you're in a fake client injector, just press select and go to your fake client. Just select that DLL. And boom, it's already selected, so that's all you need to do. And now you just need to wait for your Minecraft to load, or you can just pre inject it. And yeah, it should look something like this it says process found, valid file path injected. So if you guys can see like a DLL not found error, go to the fake client and then scroll down. Just go into the D stuff right here troubleshooting. It's when you download a fake injector and all the stuff, like you can't run it and then VC runtime 140 is not found. You can just go there and then get the X64 redist. And fake, and just so you know, fake client doesn't have support for 32x. People who are still using 32 bit, well, um, you, you can't really use fake client. Android users also know. So, um, yeah. So all you have to do right now is after you get the latest pack, you need to open your global resources and turn it, activate your fake client. And there we go. Make sure it's on the top so nothing goes wrong. And let's exit back out. And there we go. The GUI should look something like this. And then once you enter your fake client, all of this stuff should be right there. And yeah. Well, the keystrokes and CPS counter still looks kind of ugly, so I recommend you to not turn that on. But the achievements and all the rest of the GUIs look absolutely amazing. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.